Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. It already means the world, and I am so grateful that you decided to click on my video to watch today. We have a ton of motivation, the kids are officially back in school, and I have a lot to get done before I need to go pick them up. So, let's get going. So down, but maybe I'm escaping the love. If you guys are new here, let me go ahead and introduce myself. I am Tammy, mom of the Frazier family. I have been married to my husband for 12 years now, and we have four kiddos, Mia, Hayden, Kendall, and Freddie. We recently just moved from Nebraska down to the east coast of Florida. We absolutely love it here, hence why we moved, um, and I am so excited. We are slowly getting our house together. I say slowly, but in reality, it's probably not quite that slow, but we are almost done. We are kind of, we are over that hump of getting our kitchen done, so make sure you subscribe because you're going to want to see this. We got new counters today, and I am so excited to share those with you guys. Uh, those will be in next week's video, so make sure you come back, but anyway... I'm just getting some laundry done, and of course, uh, last week's video, I think it was, I organized my side of the closet, so, you know, I felt like Fred's side of the closet was looking a little, <laughs> I don't know, it, it, the colors weren't working for me, uh, the mix-up situation, so when I was doing his laundry, I decided to go ahead and organize all of his clothes. I put all his tank tops in the front and then his work clothes in the back and then I just kind of went through and colorized everything in between. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better yet I get too I'll be honest, organizing Fred's shirts is purely for me <laughs> and my happiness. He does not care. He just puts his clothes up there and calls it a day. I just, I don't know. I just like keeping things organized. It is just my nature to do so. And again, his portion of the closet here has been driving me crazy, uh, especially after I redid all of my side. So I, I had to do his side. In our old house, I couldn't see it. <laughs> it was all one closet, but we had my side and his side, and it was separated, and it was perfect because I couldn't see the disorganization. But here I see it, so I fixed it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or it, it, it's so much pl it's it's so pleasing to the eye don't you think doesn't it look better I don't know do you guys do that let me know down in the comments do you guys color code your clothes <laughs> or am I just crazy I don't know what I do without you you make me smile what is it that you do So if you saw last week's video, you saw that I vacuumed this rug and I wanted to shampoo it. However, our old vacuum, there's just something wrong with it and yeah, it just didn't work anymore. So I picked up this new shark, uh, I'll leave on the screen what it is, I cannot remember off the top of my head, uh, but anyway, it's a lightweight cordless vacuum, again, it's shark. I love it, you guys. I I was like, I don't want to spend the money. I kept telling my husband, like, I'm like, this is just so much money. It's so expensive. Why do vacuums have to be so expensive? Good vacuums, you know? 
I haven't really had good luck with like other brand of vacuums, so I don't know. So anyway, I bit the bullet, picked it up at Lowe's, probably not the cheapest route to go anyway, but I got it. So here we are, and it works, and I love it, and I am so happy because I finally was able to shampoo this rug after I vacuumed. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. So I totally spaced that while vacuuming underneath of things that this vacuum um, bends in half, basically. I will show you here in just a second what I mean after I show you all the grime I picked up off the floor. Disgusting. Oh my goodness, look at all the hair. Anyway, see right here, I totally spaced that it did this. Um, bend it. There you go. <laughs> I, I totally spaced that it did this, and you guys, this is amazing. I absolutely love, I can reach so much farther without, like, breaking my back, like, under the, vacuuming under the bed, under the couch, and all that. I absolutely love this vacuum. Um, again, I'll make sure that I leave it linked down below for you guys, because you want it. Trust me. So, anyway, now we're going to go ahead and shampoo these carpets. I will say that I thought that I was going to be okay with this handheld shampooer, which I do like it for spot cleaning um, because one of the cats had an accident on the rug already and I used it and it cleaned it right up no problem. However, doing such a big, doing the whole thing all at one time that was a lot of work, so I may or may not be in the market for a an upright shampooer instead of this handheld one, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, though, so far, so good. I like this one. I think this one will be great for, like, the couch or, again, for any spot treatments that needed to be done. I'll tell you, I absolutely love the look of this white rug. Actually, it's a carpet remnant, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> uh, this is actually a carpet remnant that we got at Nebraska Orange Mart when we still lived in Nebraska. We had it binded, I think is the word. Um, basically, the edges finished off, so it looked like a rug. 
amazing, super cheap, affordable, whatever. Great option instead of buying a whole rug. But anyway, my point being is that I absolutely love the idea of a white rug. However, it was so not smart of me to have the rug put out while we still had construction going on. Um, or renovating, you know, our kitchen because now it is stained. Like I said, I need to probably get an upright, um, I don't know, <laughs> something that would probably help get a lot of that dust and dirt out of there because my arm and stuff, the handheld, it's just, it's just not strong enough, I think. I think if, again, I had an upright, I think it would be just fine. So I might have to go buy my old one. Um, I used to have the, sh I can't even remember what it was, like the Hoover Carpet Shampoo Deluxe or something like that. Anyway, I have a video, uh, a review video on here with almost 100,000 views on it. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. But anyway, I absolutely love that shampooer, so I might need to go get another one because I didn't bring it with me because we didn't have carpet and I didn't think I was going to need it. So what do you do? Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you. Alrighty guys, now that that is done, we're moving on to the dining room. Um, kind of our dining room and kitchen. It's all one, as you can see. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. So I wanted to get um, some of this out of the way. So that way when it was time to have the countertops installed, they wouldn't be having to work around all this junk. <laughs> um, it still stays kind of cluttered, but not as cluttered. You'll see what I mean here in a second, but I had to make it work. I tried my best anyway. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get some of this decluttered. I cannot wait until this is all done and all put away. I'm so excited because we are so close. Like I said, we are on the like downhill slope of things for the kitchen and I am so excited so excited um, actually the next two videos you guys see after this will be kitchen like renovation finishing up all that jazz so definitely make sure you are subscribed so you can definitely come back and see that I am so excited so 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 excited to share that with you guys so definitely come back you're gonna want to see this but for now we're gonna go ahead and try to clear out some of this mess. I've been as cold as a bucket of ice. I've been trapped like curious mice. And I've, I've been looking for a way out into the sparkling light. I've been a lost balloon in the blue. And like Tom Free falling without a clue. Also, while I'm looking at it, our lanai, or patio, or back porch, you know, depending on where you're at, what you call it. We're in Florida now, so it's a lanai. <laughs> um, anyway, screened in room area out the door there. I am so excited. I have a lot in my mind here um, of ideas, and I've already started buying things, so I'm super excited to do like a little makeover out there and yes don't worry i will be filming it for you guys to give you some motivation for your own uh screened in porch lanai back patio situations Under the Okay guys, I need your opinion. Uh, as you can see, there are vertical blinds there on the sliding doors. I hate vertical blinds with a passion. Right now they just stay open and you can literally like see right into our house, uh, especially maybe not so much during the day, but at night you can. And honestly, I didn't have an issue with that at our old house, but the new house kind of an issue because we're all on one level here. So I need to know, do we just leave them? 
like, I mean, like, I'm taking the vertical blinds down, so do I just leave it open, or do I hang curtains? Should I put curtains in a dining room? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think. We don't need no fuel or fire for our to burn. This floor is like a literal hot mess. I That's why I'm showing you guys. It's disgusting. I cannot believe. Can you imagine? So we had carpet in our old house and I'm like seeing this all on the tile all those built up on the tile and i'm like holy crap holy, that was in our carpet back at the old house i don't know that i could ever have carpet again uh, <laughs> it blows my mind also cat tree my, i had best intentions of scraping all the hair out of there um, and getting that all cleaned out however my carpal tunnel was acting up and so i couldn't get all the hair that i wanted to i only did a good portion of the top here of the cat tree so you're gonna see that here in a little bit but first I want to get some of this hair vacuumed up because as I'm moving things around it was just flying everywhere so I wanted to vacuum it even though normally I would work from the top to the bottom of a situation like you know windows dusting couch all that stuff and then vacuum but the hair was just flying everywhere it was driving me crazy these cats are shedding us girls are shutting. It's a hot mess around here, guys. You're like a ghost in my mind. I can't escape you. I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you I've never owned a regular fabric couch I know that's crazy Well, I take that back I guess I have. It's just been a really, really long time. Like, I mean, we're talking over a decade. Our old house, we only had leather couches. Uh, so before that, you know, well over 10 years ago, um, we had, I think, a, uh, a cloth couch. But anyway, I'm trying to stay up on vacuuming this. I don't know how often I should be vacuuming with pets and children and a husband, you know. Um, how often do you guys vacuum your couches? Like, let me know because this is new territory for me. Also, I'm curious, do you guys shampoo your stuff? Your, like, couches? Or do you, uh, wash them? Like, how do you, how do often do you go about doing these things? Because I need help. <laughs> Before, like I said, we had a leather couch. I just wiped it down when it got dusty or dirty or something got spilled on it. Uh, so it's quite... A quite different situation so anyway right now I'm just vacuuming it it actually looked really nice I have been like craving carpet lines even though I don't want carpet anymore and there was definitely like carpet lines on the couch do y'all know what I'm talking about it was actually very satisfying I really try to keep up with getting the cat hair off of this thing. Usually I try to do it every, like, every other week or so. It hasn't been done since we moved here. And we've been here for two months. Can you believe it, guys? Two whole months. But anyway, I haven't had the time to do it. It just hasn't been on my mind. And it, it got out of control. So, I got, like I said, I got the top tier done. And I had to take a break. Not only was my carpal tunnel acting up, but... Like, the hair was just flying everywhere, and it was really causing me to be, like, itchy and sneezy and all that jazz. So, I needed to stop. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get vacuuming everything up here. And then I'm going to also go out and shake off my cow rug. 
uh, which was not a good idea either because everything like flew back in my face. It was a hot mess, but anyway, it, that just seems like the easiest way to clean it is just to pick it all up and shake it off outside. I don't know. Um, I was recommended to sweep it. You can sweep it. We definitely sweep it. Uh, not vacuuming, even though you did just see me vacuum, but shh, don't tell anybody, okay? When you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you. Another new thing for me here is unfinished wood. So, uh, I don't know. Stupid of me or not. I bought furniture with unfurnished wood. As you can see, there is definitely a stain on my TV stand. Obviously, somebody set a cup up there. Not thrilled about it. But anyway, I do not know how to go about cleaning these, you guys. Obviously, it was dusty. I just showed you. I just got a wash rag wet. No soap, no nothing. It's just water and wiped them down because I don't really know how to clean unfinished wood. So, I don't know, I might eventually go through and just um, get like a sealant, like a protectant on it and finish it, but I really don't want the shine, and I know you can buy matte, but it you, that stuff kind of changes, you know? I don't know. So, anyway, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for unfinished wood as well. I absolutely love these amber medicine bottles, vases, however you want to call it. Um, they are back in stock in Hobby Lobby. I just saw them the other day, which makes me happy because if those ever break, it means that I can replace them. <laughs> but I just love the amber glass. It's, it's just so pretty, but it's it really works for our decor. I mean, technically, I guess it's more fall, but... I don't know. It works. So, I love it. If you're looking for it, check out Hobby Lobby. Oh no. Anxiety creeps up on me. We don't currently have a kitchen sink. Uh, most of you guys know, I've already said in this video that we are renovating our kitchens. We do not have a kitchen sink. So, I have been trying to work around that. Um, usually I would use the sink to fill up my mop bucket, but today we're using the shower head. Uh, it works, you know, whatever you gotta do, right? Make your life easier you know <laughs> it's what it is so um i'm just filling up the mop bucket with some oh what is that called it is the purple stuff it is not pine saw i know y'all just saw it yeah i just forgot what it's called anyway using that and just some hot water just to go through and mop everything i do have a wet a uh, wet vac uh, the Bissell, yep, I, I'm just not able to name things right now. Anyway, so I do have a wet vac. I usually use that. That's more like a daily thing. I do like to go through though and use an actual mop, um, at least once a week or I try to, we'll say that. Uh, just, I don't know. I just feel like this gets it cleaner than the wet vac. Maybe that's all in my mind. I really don't know, guys. But I definitely wanted to go through and just get everything mopped up. It also makes the house smell so good. 
It's Fabuloso. See, yep, yeah, light bulb went off. The Fabuloso in the mop bucket with the water, it makes the house smell amazing. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, I need you guys help. One, I, if you're wondering why I was just standing there looking, <laughs> I'm trying to decide. I wanted it to kind of show a little more of the cowhide than what was already showing before I cleaned it. Uh, but anyway, I need you guys help because this thing slides all over the floor and I don't know what to do because most area rug, like this non-slip mats that go under area rugs are square and I mean I could cut it but oh my goodness that seems like a lot of work so how do you guys keep your cow hides from sliding on the tile any help would be greatly greatly appreciated Alrighty, up next is this disaster of a bathroom. Um, we haven't really done anything in here. My husband changed out the light fixture, we put up a shower curtain, and that's about it. But, huh, it is time to tackle it. I hate this shower curtain rod. I've been saying that word a lot in this video. And I shouldn't say hate. Hate is not a good word. Maybe highly dislike. Probably a better option. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't like the curved rod. This is how they had it, and maybe it's turned incorrectly. I don't know. Not a fan. So, I did go ahead and buy a new one. It's just a straight across rod. I picked it up at Target. Um, it's brushed nickel. Super easy to put up. You can just put it up normal or, or screw it into the wall. I didn't want to screw it into the tile. So, anyway. But before I get to that, I'm going to go ahead and give this shower a good scrub down because four dirty kiddos use this every night and it is a disaster. I absolutely love this Clorox like scrub pad on a stick. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, you guys. Again, I'm lost for words. It, it's been a long day. But anyway, I absolutely love it. I picked it up at Target. It is amazing. It saves my back. And it just makes everything so super easy to scrub everything down. I'm also using the CLR Kitchen and Bath, which my aunt actually recommended to me years and years ago, and I love it. It is amazing. It makes all the rust and grime and everything just disappear. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water So, 
an attempt to solve our storage situation. Uh, if you're not new here, you know that our house is an older Florida home and the storage situation is basically non-existent. There's just like no storage in these old homes. Um, so anyway, I am forever trying to find storage solutions and this is my solution for some towels. I picked up this cute little basket, actually I picked up everything on here, um, all this, the towel situations, storage situations, <laughs> I picked them all up on Amazon. Um, if you're interested or looking for them, definitely check out my Amazon link. I think I have a list with everything on there for you guys that you guys can check out. Um, if that link even still works, I don't know. It's not affiliate, so you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, um, I picked up this basket. I will say I the basket was level, but the bar where the towel hangs is not level. You'll see here in a second. I'm checking it and I'm like, what the heck? But it works. It's whatever. <laughs> um, I just needed a towel hook. So we, I got, or we, I, me and the mouse in my pocket, I got this hung up. I also got the bath towel one hung up as well. So I just, I'm just forever, like I said, trying to find ways to make things, storage situations work. And this, this was my attempt. <laughs> um, does it work? Sure. Does it look okay? Sure. Is it my typical, like, what I would rather have? Not necessarily, but it works and I don't hate it, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and get it hung up. I was going to split it in two, uh, but it didn't work that way. You're supposed to have it all in one. So you'll see me fix all that here in just a second. But not as much as this does, so maybe fine. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. I will say, although this isn't something typically I would want for decor, it did work and I would definitely recommend it if like, if you have like a cabin or something like that, I think it would look really cute in a cabin bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> I just, that's kind of where I can picture it at. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this hung up. You'll see here in a little bit, I can't remember exactly which point. But I know we're getting close. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all the towels hung up and put on there. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned to the end to see how that turns out. Uh, but I also want to get this picture hung up. I will say that, yes, I did use the command strips and they did not work because the walls are textured. As you can see, they are heavily textured and the command strips do not like textured walls. So... Not a fan of the texture, but it is what it is. I'm just going to leave it and live with it and learn to love it. <laughs> but yes, so learn from me. Don't use command strips on textured walls. While I am uh, hanging these command hooks for my kids' loofahs, that picture came crashing down. So that, that was exciting. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these command strips. These are bath specific ones. So don't you worry. They're going to do just fine in the water. I'm going to get these hung up on the tile and that way my kids can put their loofahs on a hook instead of on the floor.
stars, we can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're young. You saw the beautiful greenish blue teal aqua laundry basket that I was folding the towel or pulling the towels out of as I was folding them. That was our uh, dirty towel basket in the bathroom, but I felt like it needed something nicer <laughs> and less baskets or laundry baskets ish. I mean, obviously, this is a laundry basket, but it just looks nicer. You know what I mean? Um, I will say this was a little bit on the expensive side, and it was also a little bigger than I wanted. However, the reviews were very good on it. I actually really like it. It's a really nice piece, um, and it works out. So it will hide our dirty towels that I didn't know where else to put them since we our laundry is now in the garage and we don't have a laundry room. So anyway, I'm just going to get this together and then I will get it in the bathroom and we will show you what it looks like. The final look of how everything turned out here in a second after I fold these towels. Again, more storage solutions and just using a basket. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna finish up here and get the shower curtain hung up. Uh, tip from Tammy. When you wash your shower curtains, don't fully dry it. Just dry it enough to get the wrinkles out, but still damp, and then hang it. Trust me, it'll make sure that your uh, curtains don't shrink. So anyway, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would, please. And make sure you come back because the final kitchen reno, we got two more videos. So you're definitely going to want to be there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah.